This is the scene in Puerto Rico's main international airport. It's nighttime and people are lined up hoping for the possibility of getting a seat on a flight the next day off of this island. But the chances are slim because all day Tuesday, only about 10 commercial flights were able to fly out of this important airport, in part, the U.S. military says, because a key radar installation was destroyed, was damaged by Hurricane Maria. So all of these people here are waiting, first come, first serve, hoping that in the morning they can get a seat on the next Southwest Airlines flight off of here, and some people even traveling with very cute Rottweiler puppies. Uh, waiting for their chance to get out of here. But this is tough. People are traveling with children, and there are people who've been stranded here in Puerto Rico for days. Uh, I spoke earlier. Over here, I want to come over and say hi again. Hey, can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Alicia Beniquez. And you're here with your grandson, three years old. Hey there. Chenille. Chenille. Say hi, Shani. Hi. Do you think you have any guarantee of getting on tomorrow's flight? No, not really, because first is the family and family of the crew, and then is the people that have t plane tickets. So what has the airline told you then to yeah. do? To just sleep here. To spend the night here waiting to see what they could do for us, but because there's only two flights coming out. So you guys are going to be sleeping on the floor here tonight? Yep. Kenny, we're going to be sleeping on the floor? We're going to. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Good to meet you. And then part of the problem here is that people have already been living on the island for the better part of a week with no electricity, with almost no running water as well. The U.S. military insists the flight capacity will improve in the days ahead. But for now, this is the very difficult situation, again, nearly a week after the Hurricane Maria struck this island. Ivan Watson, CNN, Puerto Rico.